What the? Oh my gosh! Um. Okay, I don't think I'm ready for that um, task yet. What's going on YouTube family? Welcome back to another video. This is my first and blind playthrough of Skyrim and we are on episode 19. If you missed any of the previous episodes, I always try to link them up in the corner so you can check them out before you watch this one. But thank you so much for all of your amazing support on these videos. It is so, so awesome and I appreciate you so much. Uh, yeah, can't wait to keep playing this game and eventually beat the main story at some point. But right now I'm just taking it easy, just letting the game lead me where I want to go, you know? So thank you, thank you for subscribing and liking and commenting and leaving the secret words, the magic word or whatever I call it, secret word, magic word. Yeah, for your comments, that's so awesome of you guys. Yeah, so let's get into today's episode. We're gonna be continuing this quest for right now with Delphine. I have the most interest in this one. And then we are also going to be going back to uh, Windhelm and just exploring that area a little bit more. And I gotta decide, I guess. I gotta kinda start thinking about who I wanna join, like wh which side I wanna join, basically. Um, oh, I should look for the boat in Windhelm they used to travel from Solstheum. I forgot about this quest. This is like one of my very first ones. Wonder if I need to do these in order? Or is it just like in order of receiving them, basically? There's so many Jarls, also. I want to find the appraiser. Visit the, the shrine of Azura. Let's see what we got going on here. Is this? Oh, the wreck. Yeah, that guy uh, put it on my map last time I was here. There's the shrine of Azura in Winterhold. Dang, is there seriously this much more parts, like this many more parts of the map? Forsaken Cave. Alright, let's do it. Helgen. Helgen's where it all started. Oh, you know what I'm just not realizing? After 19 episodes, this is the 19th. I'm just, just not realizing that the white markers are places that I've been. And like the black markers with the white outline are places I have not been yet. Duh. Well, that's cool. I'm glad to know that now, finally. Alright. Hmm. I also wanted to check... The Jarl in the other town was talking about a Jarl, Jarl Bulgriff, like Ulfric Stormcloak was talking about uh, Jarl Bulgriff, and I'm pretty sure. It's a shame, isn't it? Okay, I'm finally gonna talk to this guy. See, that's what I'm talking about. You have come to hear the word of Talos. I do have the blessing of Talos right now, and that is the same statue. Okay, I'm finally getting the. Uh, trying to get all the stories that are happening. I'm. Not the best at paying attention to storylines completely, if you could guess, but I'm not good at that. That's okay, I'm trying my best. So let's see. Uh, we're finally gonna listen to this guy. Why was Talos worshipped, worship outlawed? Because the so-called emperor is a coward. That's right, I said coward. Oh yes, he agreed to banish the worship of Talos at the tip of an Aldmeri sword. They called it the White Gold Concordant. Well, I call it blasphemy. A true son of the Empire would never have turned his back on our greatest hero. Not at any price. Well, let me tell you something, friend. Cyrodiil is a long way from here. And in Skyrim, we will never forsake mighty Talos. Aren't you worried you'll be arrested? Ah, let them come. I have no fear. For Talos is my ally, and I am his prophet. His word is upon my lips. His voice in my throat. Jeez, what can you tell me about Talos? Hello, my friend. If you seek knowledge about mighty Talos, you have most certainly come to the right person. 
in mortal life. Talos was a Nord, possessed of unmatched tactical skill, limitless wisdom, and the power to see into men's hearts. Talos mastered the power of the voice. And with it, he united the lands of men into a great empire. In southern lands, he was known by the name Tiber Septim. Here in Skyrim, we honor him by his proper Nord name. So great was his reign in life. When he ascended to the heavens, he was made Lord of the Divines. If you want to know more, I'm sure you can find any number of tomes on the subject. Okay. Today, they take away your Jeez. So the shrine of Talos is right there too. That's cool. I thought he was gonna be done screaming about stuff if I would talk to him, but apparently not. That's okay. I love how the green screen's going through my headphones right now. And my chair is kind of see-through, but that's okay. Yeah, y'all are all full griff. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Whose side are you on? If it's the war you're referring to, I'm on the side of Whiterun. No doubt General Talius and his friends in the Empire will tell you that I owe them my loyalty. And perhaps I do. Ulfric Stormcloak would say that I owe my allegiance to the Nord people as they fight for Skyrim's independence. Perhaps this is also true. The day might come when I am forced to draw my sword for one side or the other. Hmm. But that day has not come yet. Why do you think Ulfric killed the High King? No doubt, he thought it was the only way to make his point. And also, because he knew he could. Hmm. How can you protect, the, protect Whiterun from the dragons? With good planning and constant vigilance. Even now, my court wizard, Ferengar, continues his research into ways we might drive back these terrors. We must also have ample reserves of water to combat the fires that will surely spread after an attack. But our greatest weapon? Courage. For if we cannot kill the beast, we must at least have the tenacity to drive it back. Until brave heroes step forward to destroy these monsters. That's what I've been that doing. That is the best we can do. Cool. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Okay. Well, I didn't really answer very many of my question questions other than, is that Yarl Bulgriff? And it is. I just had to make sure because I haven't talked to him in a while. You know. Can I jump from here and die? Yee! Oh, that was nice. Lies. Nothing. Nay, worse than nothing. The Imperial machine enforces the will of the Dalmor against its own people. That voice actor is great though. You know? Dang, what's all the way out here? Fort what? I was supposed to read that. There we go. Fort Dawn Guard. Oh yeah, the vampire hunters. I have the vampire outfit on, so I feel like can I really be a vampire hunter? I did also kill a bunch of vampires. Oh, I'm a dingus. Nobody yell at me, nobody yell at me. If you know, you know. What the heck? There's Morthal, my favorite town ever. I'm very proud of how far we've made it, though. Like, to lots of different places. You can see where, we, where we've been the most. That's for sure. Talk to Aventus Arantino. Isn't he, like, in here somewhere? Yes, he says hi. Oh. Oh. 
Okay. Well, let's travel here then. Aventus? Or... I already forgot the last name. <laughs> Aventus something. Dang, it's just always looked like nighttime here. Is it someone in the... I'm a sailor on the north wind. We're laying over in Windhelm for a while. Nice. Are it's you good part to of the spend some time on solid land. Nice. Okay. We have all these people. This dude. What time is it here? Why is it always nighttime when I come here? I'd be out there fighting the Imperials right now if it wasn't for my war wound. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Aww. Until next time. You seem nice. Of course, working for both Freedias is my first choice. But what else can a Dunmer do out here? Okay. Why does that name sound familiar, actually? I like all these colorful signs. There's so many places here. What's up, dude? You need anything, come see me. I'm as resourceful as I am discreet. <laughs> Take care, friend. Corner club? What the heck is this? Is this a dance club? Wow. I thought the Grey Quarter would be a haven for my kind. I was wrong. Where's the party? Niranye, I just have to know. What is your secret? My... my what now? You know. Where do you get your goods? I am always amazed at how you manage to sell things so cheaply. Oh, uh, just a matter Apparently of Apparently some Nord right women were murdered. Well, Not sure why I should I care. Meet them the next time they're around. Maybe you can give an introduction. Okay. If you I'll need consider another drink, it. I'll Thank be you. Many of the people I deal with here. I love the colors of it, though. What are you up to? Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. Nice. I think this is someone I would need. Sadri's used wares. Okay, cool. Where am I, though? I mostly deal okay. with petty thievery and drunken brawls. Been too long since we've had a good bandit day. Oh, the bandits. What's this? Oh, okay. My sister and I both work for the Nords. Our brother is ashamed of us, but at least we can afford to eat. Afford to eat? Is that a misspelling or is that just how they wanted it to look? Afford? Definitely not getting distracted. House of Curiosities. Ooh, that sounds cool too. Aw. Sophie. No one bought any flowers again today. Huh. I don't know what to do. Who are you? Where are your parents? They're, they're dead. My goodness. My mama died when I was little. I I don't remember her very well. My father was a stormcloak soldier. One day he left and didn't come back. I'm all alone. I try to sell flowers so I can buy food. It's not much, but what else can I do? Should I get a friend for my other daughter who I don't remember her name right now? <laughs> I can adopt you if really? you want. Do you, do you have a place I could live? Even though they literally look the same. Oh, wow. Are you, are you sure? You really wouldn't mind? Yay! Thanks, Mama. I promise I'll be the best daughter ever. Nice. All right. Try not to die on your way to my house all the way in White Run. I need to get my things and say goodbye to everyone. Okay. I'll meet you at home. Thanks. Thanks so much. So cute. She seemed nice, at least. So you know. 
I think I can have two. Two kids, and that's it. Alright, well, I might as well just get a good night's sleep like I planned on doing before, but then I was like, I'll just go ahead and go back to Whiterun, you know? The townsfolk call me Captain. Got some fresh baked bread and sailor. good cheese if you're after a bite to eat. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. All right. I'll show you to your room. Yes, right please. this way. I lost my family years ago. Truth is, I don't really know what keeps me going. Captain Lonely Gale is literally his name. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Thank you. You can leave now. Alright, <laughs> I guess I'll go to sleep. So what's the news on the street, Captain? The Dark Elves are uneasy. There's a killer my on the streets. My room. And Viola Giordano won't be. Got some fresh baked bread and good cheese if you're out there by the coming gone. Gosh, things! Too many things happening. What the heck just happened? Also, do people actually clean up bodies around this town or what? There's no glory in war. It's just something they tell soldiers so they'll risk their lives. <sighs> Let's see. I think I came from this way, right? I think this is it. Curiosities. Oh my gosh! Please, 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 don't get me in trouble. I need to get my things and say goodbye to everyone. I'll meet okay. you at home. Thanks. Thanks so much. Thanks. Bro, everybody, wake the up! I'm ready to like look inside these doors. Let's see if this one's open. Where was it? What this way. See? I'm just trying to buy stuff or sell stuff, I guess. I don't know. I just want to find someone else to sell to other than Bellathor. Holy crap! No one's awake! Come on now! Why? There's something happening I just don't understand. Whoops. What the F? Farm work is hard work. It's good to relax when I can, but I still have to listen to my brothers harping about injustices. Injustices. Well, that is unfortunate. Man, I really want to go in these places. Who's this guy? Chopping wood. There's no glory in war. It's Name's so new. So I'm so the cook at the Candleheart Hall. Oh yeah, I remember you. There's a blacksmith. Is he open at least? Why? I never expected Ulfric to live up to his legend, but he does. Hold on. A Let me word talk of advice: to you, like, this way. Don't buy discounted armor. Okay. I couldn't ask for a better teacher than Owen Gull. Okay. If you've need of weapons or armor, come back. Everyone and says Yorland Greymane is oh, the best smith sale? in Skyrim. I plan to change a few minds about that. <laughs> it's like, where do I look? Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? He's just selling stuff, like, just out and about. Ooh. You know what I never look at? I never look at the weapons from that other guy. Undead up to level 3 flee for 30 seconds. Creatures and people up to level 5 flee from combat for 30 seconds. That does not sound like something I would want. Alright. Whether it's armor you need or a new blade, come see me. Did you use my good hammer? No. Last word, I told you to leave my tools alone. You have yours and I have mine. I didn't touch it. Hammers don't have legs. Did you look behind the forge? I think I saw it there. Oh, can't just throw the big logs on the fire. Gotta have the little bits too. The little bits. Checking this place one more time. Who's crying? All right. Well, that's a bummer. Let's see where the heck this jabroni is. Oh, right here. Then it's true what everyone is saying. 
that Aventus Artino is doing the Black Sacrament, trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood? Oh, oh Grimvar, always with the nonsense. No, no, of course not. Those are just tales. Fine, then I'll invite him out to play. He lives right there. I'm going to knock on his door. No, child, wait! That boy, that house, they are cursed. Ha, huh, then I'm right, I knew it. He's trying to have somebody killed. All right, I won't deny it, child. What you heard is true. But Aventus Aretino walks a dark path. His actions can lead only to ruin. Now, enough. We will speak no more of this. I am the only friend you need. Oh my goodness. Does nobody do anything around here? It's another like vampire person or something, is that why? Where's this go? What would you think if I tried to break into your house, huh? Delete that. Let me in. Let me see about this one. Isn't there a way? Travel to Solstein. I say let's do that. I don't know where the heck it is. But that's kind of why it makes me want to go there. Let's do it. Get out of our city, this is your time. So rude. Person's gotta be like somewhere around here. Just not at home or something. Horses all day long. Do you have any idea how dull horses are? Alright, how do I get down to the boats? Jump down. Oh, actually, it might have been that other door. Let me go see. I would never leave my house if I lived in this town. It looks way too cold. Oh, it's an island. Oh, I've yeah, been I looking go. for you. <gasps> Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Thank you. Let's see here. I've got a letter and a lot of gold. Oh, snap. Something about it being your uh, oh inheritance. Oh, and sorry for your loss. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Thank you. Doesn't look like a lot of gold. What the heck did I get? Treasure map. <gasps> Ooh, it's a treasure map. How the heck am I supposed to know what that is? Is that Windhelm? A serious note. Okay. I'm just gonna drop this stuff I don't need. Letter of inheritance. There we go. Xena, in the name of Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak, it was with Great regret that we inform you of Aunt Angranor once honored's death. The deceased has bequeathed you. The deceased has bequeathed you unto bequeathed unto you a measure of inheritance. I swear I can read in the amount of hundred gold pieces. The Jarl's court has levied an amount of ten gold pieces from the sum, as the lawfully in honorable honorably to do tax of course the remainder has been 
commended into the care of a trusted courier for deliverance. While all the Earl's court grieves with you on this day, we, we rejoice in the knowledge that the deceased was in possession of dear friends and wealth to communicate unto them. May this lawfully bestowed inherit inheritance prove as a reminder of your enduring faith in one another and one of the Earl's benefic beneficiates beneficence accorded unto you both. Okay, yeah, that was like so bad. This treasure map is new. I don't remember seeing that. And who the heck is that person that they're talking about? I have no idea. All right, let me try this door over here. It was this door, I think. I need to get my things and say goodbye to everyone. Okay. I'll meet you at home. Sounds Thanks. Sounds great. Thanks so much. Where the heck was the door that led outside? Oh, right here. Okay. Let's see if this takes us to the boat area. Seems promising. That's like seeing my character every once in a while. Oh, yeah. Who wants to take me on a trip to Soul Soul Steam? <clears throat> Talk to Captain Gallant. If you're looking for passage to Solstein, too bad. Why? I'm not going back there anymore. Are you the captain of the Northern Maiden? Sure. Yeah, that's me. Why? Who sent you? I was attacked by some cultists who came here on your ship. Now, hold on. That wasn't my fault. I didn't know they were going to attack anybody. I don't even know how I got here. Sounds sus. How can you not know how you got here? You sailed here, right? It's hard to explain. I remember those people with the masks coming on board. Then, the next thing I remember, I was here, and they were gone. And that's not right, losing whole days like that. There's been something strange going on there for a while. Mm -hmm. But after this, I'm done. I'm not going back to Solstein. Yes, you are. You're taking me to Solstein. Have you been listening to me? I'm not going back there. I'll pay double your usual rate. You owe me. Those cultists you brought here tried to kill me. People are trying to kill me. I'm not taking no for an answer. Look, I'm sorry about your troubles. Okay. But I've got to I'll look out you. for myself. I'm not going to risk it. I'll pay you double well, your usual rate. A man's got to make a living after all. Oh, yeah. Fine. We'll cast off immediately. Everyone can always be bribed. All right, we're going to Solstheim. Till the High King gave it to Morrowind in 4E16 to serve as refuge for the Dunmar. Dunmar. Oh, we're getting a cutscene right now. I can't move. Well, here we are. This is Raven Rock. Can't say I'm all that glad to see it again. Good luck. Maybe you can figure out what's going on around here. Cool. That's the first cut cutscene we've had like that since. I'm scared. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much, dude. I don't recognize you. So I'll assume this is your first visit to Ravenrock, Outlander. State your intentions. I'm looking for Mirak. Do you know him? Mirak? I... I'm not sure that I do. Just <laughs> remember, Ravenrock is sovereign territory of House Redoran. This is Morrowind, not Skyrim. While you're here, you will be expected to abide by our laws. Any questions? Why are you so su suspicious of visitors? A second counselor, the security of Raven Rock is my primary concern. Has security been an this issue? This isn't exactly the city of Blackland. We're on the frontier. What are you guys working on over there? Shut it. We've had more than a fair share of troubles. After all we've been through together. I refuse to let Councillor Morvain down. What are your titles? Councillor Morvain is House Redoran's representative on Solstein. A 
second counselor, it's my job to support him and make certain his rule is enforced. You know who Mur Murak is? I, I'm unsure. I swear I know the name, but I cannot place it. Mm. Can you tell me anything about him? I don't think so. I'm not... The, the name has something to do with the Earthstone, I think, but I'm not sure what. Ravenrock Raven really started out him. as an imperial center. This guy's like, can I leave? The I didn't Empire decided ever want to come back here again. Just as my people were first setting foot here, like, I don't they know, left the town. Just talking like. <laughs> and when House Redoran took over, we turned it around <laughs> and it became ours. Like sweeping, like, and get on with it. It's been a struggle to make this island livable. We're proud to call it home. Like, you know what? I'm just gonna drink. Your ignorance of our homeland. Doesn't surprise me. It's the capital of Morrowind. Been that way ever since <laughs> Mornhold was sacked by the Argonians. I don't visit there often anymore, but we still get the occasional supply ship and visitors from there. Argonians invaded Morrowind? Quite a while ago, yes. They cut a bloody swath across most of the southern region of Morrowind. <laughs> Nobody seems favorite. certain why it happened. An attempted expansion? Revenge for the enslavement of their people, or perhaps both. Whatever the case may be, thousands of Dunmen needlessly lost their lives, and many more were exiled from their homeland. Alright. Giolan, I was starting to wonder what happened. We, uh, we were delayed by bad weather. Before you even ask, yes, have the supplies you requested. But what? The slow cost me double what we'd agreed on. Nothing I can do about it. Damn it, Jolland, you know we don't have that much coin. Look, the East Empire Company didn't give me a choice. They've raised their prices again. And there's nothing I can do about it. If you're looking for passage, talk to Captain Gyalan. Captain Gyalan does the business around here. Who's the ship's name? Let me talk to Laryl. I'll see what we can do. All right, Admiral. Don't worry about rushing. Just pay me when you can. All right, thank you. Hi. May the wind be at your back, friend. Thanks so much. place. Wow. Bruh. Oops. So now we're just focused on this island. That's pretty cool. We're in Solstein. Solstein. I'm a little nervous to be here. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, what the heck is this? Counselor Morvain is the only reason Ravenrock has survived all these years. Dude. You should pay your respects. The your guard suits are awesome. Can't believe I've been stuck here this long. I don't want to visit the jail already unless I am guilty of something. Let's try this stuff, see what happens. Probably not good for me, huh? Trauma root, weakness to shock. Oh! Okay. Nothing really happened. But I gotta take some so I can make sure. Oh! What do you think you have it? 
Try walking the bulwark at night. Okay. Ancestral tomb. I'm just taking all of this for now, I guess. I don't know. I guess I can always travel back here? Actually, I don't think I can. I think I have to just take the boat. This like town is <sighs> built around like those bugs. There was some sort of like bug that I found before. Welcome to Raven Rock, Traveler. Could I interest you in any fine ash grown foods? What exactly is ash grown food? The Dunmer have been growing food in the Ashlands for thousands of years. It was born out of the necessity to survive in the harsh climate of our homeland. And now, with the constant eruptions of the Red Mountain, it's more important than ever. Is magic no, involved? only the Tulvani have the ability to weave living growth from the ash. This simply takes the right ingredients, the right tools, and a lot of patience. Oh, what Let do you have for sale? My wife and all sorts of useful things. Feel free to browse. Sort 20 points of stamina. So for anyone that's new, I did have an awesome person gift me the Elder Scrolls cookbook, the official cookbook, so I'd definitely love to try some recipes at some point. Maybe even do a video for it, we'll see. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. I have like a throne wish list, which is just basically like stream stuff. Stuff for Xena, I put some fun things on there for Xena as well. Um, but it just ships directly to my house without needing like a P.O. box or anything, so it's always in the description box if anyone ever wants to check it out. So thank you for Next that. Time so you're exciting. Hungry, stop by. I always have plenty of food for sale. Got another blacksmith over here. Oh, hello. You looking for a handout or something? No. But I can talk to you about my father and mother are the richest on the island, and that includes okay. Councillor Morvane. I do not care about that. Do you know someone called Mirak? That's not someone who lives in Raven Rock, I don't think. But it sounds so familiar. Hmm, is he somewhere else on Soul Solstheim? Maybe. I can't help but think of some sort of temple on the island. Why would that be? Hmm. Next time. Let me ask this dude. Miserable. If you ever need a puffer, do you know someone called Mirak? I think so, but I can't remember how I know him. Or maybe I'm wrong. I'm not sure. Do you know him or not? I'm not sure. I think so. But the only thing that comes to mind is a shrine near the earth stone. Okay. Next time you're hungry, stop by. Thank you. I always have plenty of food for I swear, is this Alor? Bruh. Want to buy anything? Ooh, or just like laugh at our mining gear. Do you know someone called I think Mirak? I maybe had a dream about someone with that name. What in the F? Tell me about your dream. It was very strange. Was I building something? A shrine down on the beach near the earth stone? I'm not sure. Do you spell any mining special gear. mining gear? No. However, I used to sell East Empire pendants until I ran out of them. Popular little item. What's an East it's Empire pendant? It's an amulet pendant? that was made exclusively for the East Empire Company. They gave them to their workers as an incentive at one point, a kind of reward for extra mm. effort. They're no longer being made, so they've become a collectible. I'd love to get my hands on a few of them. Where can you they find could be them? anywhere on the island. The mines might be a good place to start. Mm. If you find any while you're exploring Solstheim, bring them here, and I'll pay you for them. Okay, what have you got for sale? Everything I've got on display, really. Holy moly. What is that? Ooh. Hold on. A harker tusk. I need a mammoth tusk. I 
necklace of magicka. Oh, that'd be nice to find. Orcish arrows. How have I not found any orcish arrows yet? Shows the path to the current goal. What? What does that mean? Well, there's a lot more people to sell to here. I don't remember having this. Where did I get this? I'm getting rid of it. Maybe I just didn't have the right person to sell it to or something? Hmm. All right. The East Empire pendants are scattered all over. Excuse me, excuse so leave me. No stone. I work for Mogul. You got a problem, you talk to him. I like that guy's voice too. Abandoned building. Is there anything in here that I can have? I should like make sure there's no one in here gonna attack me. say this is an abandoned building after all. Alright, there's nothing really in here that I can see. Here I go again. I hate to break it to you, but there isn't a scrap of evidence. Ebony. You might want to have a feeling I'm going to have to fight somebody. Can I go straight into the water? Oh, we got an in route. Oh, an ash and grass pod. Hmm. All right, let's try to check this out and then we'll see where we're gonna go from here because I know I'm like, like way distracted. Oh, hold on. Let me also check. Help. That sounds like a bad thing, right? I haven't seen that one yet. Here that they have forgotten. I guess stuck. You Hi. there. You don't seem to be in quite the same state as the others here. Very interesting. You have a sweet outfit. May I ask what it is you're doing here? Looking for someone named Mirak? Mirak, Mirak. Mirak. It sounds familiar, and yet I can't quite place. Oh, wait, I recall. That makes very little sense. Mirak's been dead for thousands of years. What does that mean? I'm not sure. But it is fascinating, isn't it? Perhaps it has some relation to what's going on here. Quite unexpected. I'm afraid I can't give you any answers, but there are ruins of an ancient temple of Mirax toward the center of the island. If I were you, I'd look there. Thank you. There's like the mountain volcano or whatever they said that keeps erupting too. What are these people doing? Building something, clearly. And yet, they don't seem to have much to say about it. I'm very interested to find out what happens when they finish. Have you tried to stop this? Certainly not. Doing so would interfere with whatever is going on. And I would be unable to see how this all turns out. Can you tell me about more? Red Mountain dominates the island. Red Mountain's probably over Every there. now and then, ash and debris right. from an eruption land on our shore. Like the song. Hmm. What are you doing, dude? 
Now through them does he speak. And when the world shall listen, and when the world shall see, that world that will cease advisable. to be. Oh, yeah. Fascinating. By touching the stone, you appear to have fallen under whatever influence is that affecting you the others. Have forgotten. What is happening right now? I wonder that how long this effect will last. Perhaps it is permanent as we get. Ah, so you are able to resist the effect by exerting the ash from Red Mountain holds Sorry, hold secrets. Sorry, hold on. Secrets I need to uncover. What by day was stolen. Hmm? That was crazy. Why would Mirak want me killed? I didn't do nothing. Ooh, can I make it over there? So cool. No way can I make it over there. <gasps> oh my gosh. Please don't kill me. Please don't die. Oh lord. Not worth it. Far from ourselves. Whoa. Sorry. He grows ever near to us. Hmm. Our eyes once were blinded. They're all like possessed. this like at at looking thing at at hold on what the f is that what are these jellyfish what the heck are you Do anything with them. See what they are or anything. What's this? Oh, interesting. We're discovering all sorts of fun stuff. I should probably get back on the main path, eh? not finish the Mirac thing? Should I have just like stayed there? Listen to everything? Oh no. What is this place? Do what, bro? I'm out. Wait, you guys are that good of a shot. Go back and finish that Mirac thing. I'm gonna go try it one more time. That way it gets off of my screen. Now 
That seems inadvisable. Oh. Now, through them, do I speak. Oh, that would be a shame. You are an interesting exception to the otherwise universal And phenomenon. when the world shall see you. Can you hear me? Do you have any free will left? Or are you competing that with this world outside influence? will like cease us? to be. That you have forgotten. Hmm. It appears that you were not as unusual after all. That you might remember. Oops. The ash from Red Mountain holds the secrets. Secrets I mean to uncover. Well, we got that off the screen at what least. My day was stolen. Let's look at this map here. Found that. It's like a whole nother area to go to. Temple of Mirak. Let's see. Reach the Temple of Mirak. Or go back to meeting Delphine and Riverwood. I mean, we're here, so. Is there a dragon over there? Of course there is. It's a pretty far spot, though, old man. Is that a dragon? No, it's a bird. I was like, is that a dragon? Let's see about these mines and stuff, too. Thank you, anyone who's here watching the video right now and hearing my voice. If you intend to wander soul stuff. Guys, I got those special This is what I like to do. For the most part, I like to just get distracted. Do I have to go through the mines, I wonder, to get to that place? Mirax place? said to leave me be. Precious, last time you explored the mine, you almost fell to your death. I'm not spending the rest of my days as a widow. And I'm telling you that I'll do whatever it takes to find my great-grandfather's remains. He's down here. I can feel it. That was almost two centuries. Who in the blazes are you? Can't you see I'm busy? I was gonna try to maybe help you. Why should I tell what? you? I don't even know who you are. <laughs> Perhaps I could help. Hmm. Maybe been difficult trusting people lately. They think I'm crazy. But mark my words, these mines hold a secret that could put Raven Rock back on the map. What sort of secret would be hidden here? A secret the East Empire Company swept under the rug two centuries ago. It killed my great-grandfather and left Raven Rock with a worthless and tainted mine. Who is your great-grandfather? Gratian Kyrelius. He spent his entire life exploring ancient ruins across Tamriel. And he died in these very mines almost 200 years Dang. ago. How'd he die? The East Empire Company called it a terrible accident, claiming that he was lost in a rockfall. But I know better. What's your My wife and I were cleaning out our home, and we came across some of my great-grandfather's things locked in an old chest. I found an unsent letter he'd written to the East Empire Company, and a key. What did the letter say? It describes a discovery that was made in the mine by some of the diggers. They wanted Gratian to take a closer look. The East Empire Company must have felt it was of great value, as they locked that section of the mine off from everyone else. The key is to the locked section? It is. Well, I assume it is. I haven't been able to find the entrance. 
I admit this does sound suspicious. Finally, someone who believes me. I'm telling you. I'm down for conspiracies. Something big down there. Something that the East Empire Company wanted to hide from everyone. Why are you telling me Look, all this? My wife nags that I'm too old to go traipsing around these mines chasing that's a fun my story. Word. Time's my enemy. It's caught up with me before I could find the answers that I'm looking for. So you need my help? I do. I want to know what happened to Gratian. And what the East Empire Company is keeping from all of us. Any idea of where to start? Gratian kept a journal of notes about his discoveries. If you can find his remains, uh, I'm hoping it will help. Here's everything I have. The letter, the key. Please, do this for me. So I can finally regain the respect that I've lost. Someone called Mirak? I recognize the name, but I don't know how I know it. It sounds so familiar. Why the... you're leading be careful down there. The mine can be treacherous. Okay. Try the lower sections of the mine. Oh snap. I'm not stealing this, right? to get that far. But there's bad people down here. How far are we gonna have to go, buddy? Because this looks pretty far. is my sword, dude. Yeah, I quit that, baby. Oh, goodness, I just barely got down here. Run! Oh no! Oh snap! Ah! Open it! Close it! Close it! Close it! <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna die. I literally have an army of droggers coming after me right now. Mine? No! I don't think I have time to mine right now. Whoa, what the? What the? Oh my gosh! Oh 
I think I'm ready for that um, task yet. <clears throat> I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I'm gonna leave. I'll come back at another point in my life. That was crazy. My goodness. Get we out of here. What? We're going the right way, right? Dang, I didn't realize it was Try like... the lower sections of the mine. I've never been able to get that far. Heck no, I'm Why out. Leading Grecius on, I'll never understand. Sorry. I'm not leading them on now. My goodness. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and end the episode there. What a way to end. Um, we're gonna continue these two quests. I'm most likely gonna go back to this quest. Um, just because this seems kind of crazy. I don't know. We'll see what I feel. Um, next week when I record again and play um, but for now we're going to stop thank you so much for watching this episode I hope you enjoyed it with me this is a lot more like listening to dialogue this time um, but you know, I'm just trying to like listen through as many characters as possible before I get you know bored of just listening to people and they're telling me so many things it's just like a lot you know um, so I'm trying to mostly stay on the task characters I guess but we adopt another child as well today um, but yeah, thank you so much. The magic word for this episode will be ice or maybe like a snowflake or something. Um, since we just discovered that like ice monster dude out of nowhere, I was like, what the heck? What's happening behind me? Oh, an ice monster. Cool. Um, so yeah, that cave is a little much. So that would be the secret word to show that you made it uh, to this point of the video. And I appreciate you so much for watching. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing as well. And any links to anything are in the description below, of course. And thank you so much to my Ko-Fi members and my amazing YouTube members as well. And I always have their names at the end of the video as the end credits. So thank you to all of these amazing friends, all these amazing people for your extra support. Um, and making all these videos happen. So thank you. Hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.